Next question. Greenberg, you've been issued guns. When are we going to learn how to use them? You have guns and shields. Technically, you are police officers. But until you graduate from here, don't look for trouble. for attacking a cop, and it's me that's in trouble. What were you doing in the area? Where was your gun? I said, come here, man. Same sort of use a gun. Hey, that's your call over there? Yes, sir. Present to me from Joey the Mac. Why are you in uniform? A little sergeant. We figured they're wearing those gray monkey suits just to make us moving targets. The regular see you men wearing uniforms and aboard public transport going and coming from this academy. Now go back and get into uniforms where stupid slugs like you belong. Yeah, I'm going to go. 
Okay, just wait here a second, okay? You get ready to cop for You cool it? You ain't gonna get ready to work. You got guns, don't we? You got yours ready? All right. Just cool it. Let's see if you see some stuff. Maybe one of us got a gun. Try to act cool, will you? Hey, Jay, what's happening? Hey, Steve. How much you want? We're in pretty heavy, man. How much you asking? Five. About three. Five. Three? What's the problem, man? I got your stuff on. Come on, Angel. Hey, hey, what is this guy, man? We asked you a favor. You don't want to do it or I'm waiting for you. What the hell's the matter with your friend, man? I'm going to fuck off with you. Huh? This is getting the only dude in the world dealing shit, man? Huh? Yeah, gonna give me a lot of money. Come here, you got ten bags, we got fifty bucks. Okay, 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 I got ten bags for you. Cool it, man. A little dry, baby. Where do you think you're from? SUV. Which? 
It's still all right. Just came over the wire. Uh, look, Sarge, you got some pretty hard SUV matters to attend to, so can we just cut the crap you know with the paperwork we certainly do? Hey, Joe, these men are from the SUV, expedite them, huh? Appreciate it. SUV, it's part of the commission's office, isn't it? Excuse me, man, I'm still... Uh, Brubnick here, uh, SUV. Brubnick, SUV, listen, Kenley, I'm sending uh, two of my new men over for an arraignment. Greenberg in hand. Uh, I want you to put through their case ASAP. As soon as possible, where do we find you guys? Yes, sir. A-S-A-C. And what did you say your name was again? Why, thanks a lot, Kelly. I appreciate it. Uh, listen, uh, if you guys ain't too busy, could you get us some coffee in there? If we could use a spare cigar, if you got that, too. Thanks a lot. Uh, not bad. Those are 15 hours, 22 minutes from the last one. Never been a system, it couldn't be easy. You know, we should still go to a bar, find some chicks there, what do you say? You know, my thinking is that we find chicks, live near every courthouse, wouldn't that save a time going back and forth to Brooklyn all this? Uh, oh, man! Excuse me, uh, officer, would you take care of this? Hello there. Hey, the captain is nice to see you, guys. Yeah, we're thinking you might be. Watch out for one thing. You should go in the middle. Sir, can't me. We made all kinds of columns on our own time. All we got so far is called crooks and treated like we got leprosy. A polite question is, what the fuck kind of police force is this? It is a big organization, that's what kind. Like General Motors, like the Army. It has its own system of doing things. It may be lunatic. Who knows? Who cares? But if you are bucking that system, you are in trouble! Even if we aim to improve it? You belong in the New York Police Department like I can walk on water. Get back on traffic. That's all. I've had it with you guys, probation's over, and have I got a garden spot for you. Yes, sir. What a place has to live, huh? Ain't gonna be no picnic working here. I wonder if that's where we got this assignment. I'm glad he's finished keeping his feet there, huh? At least we're in the same bridge. Wow. Well, people have to live like this? No wonder the crime rate's so high. Our new home. <laughs> Captain Bush called. We request assignment as a team. Wait a minute. Hold it. 
How legal is this? Legal? Offhand? I'd rate it somewhere between murder and kissing a cat Get out of here with that stuff. Come on. We started working here tomorrow, honey.
on to do that to these children. They sell dope around here like candy. What's it like this 20 years ago? Black kids around here didn't know what dope meant. Why are you talking to them, Paul? You know they were for them babies, brothers. Great. Who are the brothers? These dudes were on the candy store over on Utica Avenue. Refuted to be the main dope suppliers in this city. Refuted? That's right. Refuted. <laughs> If he put us together, we'd roll up the score, and that would go to his credit, too, wouldn't it? Wouldn't it?
Look at them bother him to say, I'll leave. Oh, wow, well, he's kidding. Woo! <laughs> Come on, that's the best. Even if it was, and I never made a pot bust in my life. You can believe that. You're making the people nervous, man. What you want? 50 bucks to clear out? I'm a case manager, I see what else in the truck. Oh, excuse me. A policeman away on the tape? My wife had been collecting now for the six dudes that spotted him here with concealed weapons. Why not go with you? I'm Dave Greenberg. And what do you want from me, Dave Greenberg? I don't know. Where I got no idea. No, I got a hell of a lot to learn. I'm trying. You know, uh, I'm trying to learn about uh, drugs and slums. I'd be educated. There are no shortcuts. Well, here it is. This is where I live. I used to make a living. Why not? What's the deal in there, man? Cool it. You got a lot to respect there, sir. Of course, I got a badass brother up in Attica. Then I'll be back. God, that is a good many doing this. The village, Baltimore. God. But you know, nobody cares for good strippers anymore. Which one you can be in a movie, what's your best? There is other jobs besides something. With my school book education? Oh, sure, I could be a maid at the Plaza Hotel, you know what I mean? But, uh, that's between you and me, Charlie. Taking out why these suits ain't quite my style. You know what I mean? Well, that was real dumb. You quit me just before the snappy part. Well, you know, I ain't the kind of cat who'd get you all undressed on full street ends. Hey, look, Sarah. Here we go again. Yeah, you're right. It's the same old song. But I'm serious. Bobby and me aims to hit the pushes around here like they've never been. And aside from really digging you, I could use some help. You know what tip now and then? No way. Why? I ain't helping you call no brothers. We're talking about men who push heroin on black children. If you ain't part of the solution, then you're part of the problem.
Internal Affairs. What's your books on my desk? Huh? What's your books on my desk? Internal Affairs? I got some rookies there named Greenberg and Harris. Oh, you heard those names already, huh? Well, that's good, because what they were doing is all these off-duty narcotics callers. You know what that adds up to? Of course they are. They gotta be. Yeah. Would you come and pick up the memo books? Yeah, right. I thank you, Inspector. <laughs> I just gave you to the IAD boys. The shoe flies. Wouldn't matter now if you're on the level. The IAD never gives up. They will frame you if they have to. My advice is, turn in your shields right now. Turn them in. They might lay off. You heard of the NAP Commission? Well, it's announced they're being set up by our noble mayor to find corruption in the NYPD. Nobody likes that much, even internal affairs, so you resign real quick and quiet. They might lay off. They're dead here anyway, so why not? Read in my mind, Bobby. Why not see you if your first step is to arrest her? God damn it, hold it! Hold it. Call with a few flies in the face, see? I saw it on television once. Just testing your reaction. And you pack. From now on, Irv Krasner is in your corner. <laughs> Losing my mind is where. Little by little. Probably it's gone entirely because I'm putting my neck with yours. Something I haven't done in a very, very long time. What's that? Trusting a cop. <laughs> and I think, sir, let me tell you a couple of things about how we operate. Are you out of your mind? I don't want to know anything. Just keep doing it. Get out there and fight, man. Nail them. Roll up a score. Do it for me, man. Get me out of this goddamn precinct. What you see, man? Nothing. Just a couple of cops. Ain't the new ones, is it? Oh, hell no, man. Just gonna send the old neighborhood apple robbers. <laughs> <laughs> what was that you were saying, my man? You want me to tell Brother Hayes that you can't push 50 back? No, not me, man. Ain't the missus like that for Brother Hayes. Just the hands. All right, who's next? Get out of the car! Get out of the car! Get out of the car! Get out Nowhere, man. They are. Yeah. 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 Yeah
Just try to give the people some good advice. Move! Just start crying. Pull it down now, brother. I've got everything under control. All right, cool. All right, cool. All right, Bobby. Hold it down. Come on, come on, come on, come on. All right, easy, easy, easy. Here we go. Help us uh, tag some of this evidence today. I got some vital garbage can reports to type up. That's got to get back on mission door, too. <laughs> Come on, Bobby. You ever ease out of joint with you to consult me? What? I asked you a question. You ever ease that drive a joint? Yes, every morning. I don't understand. It is said that tomorrow morning, there's going to be a show there. You see this green tennis car parked outside there? Well, three torpedoes, Lily White, imported from Detroit, are going to be in that car. And they have shotguns, see? And they're going to go boom, boom, boom. Telling me that there's a contract? What I'm telling you is to get out of my life. That's what I'm telling you. I called you, Kenneth. Said if you two guys were having coffee in the morning, Watch out for Green Plymouth. Green Plymouth? Yeah, is that making sense to you? I'm not, obviously. You just relax, you can grab me. I spoke to you. As far as I'm concerned, you're a couple of pets. <laughs> what are you asking? But you're our pets! And if I thought anyone was going to attack a police officer, I'd want to do something about it! You can tell us, will you? Lieutenant O'Shaughnessy, the famous trick protector. All right. He's going to turn loose all those black twits. They're going to shoot down 112 women and children in their excitement. Isn't that true? Testifying in a certain 
way, the uh, consideration to you would be uh, $1,500. You know why we arrested those guys? Possession of Sado Shanta. Which they had been paid to kill us. Are they charged with that? Sorry to say no, because we forgot to uh, inform them of their rights before they made the said admission, and now, of course, they deny it. Well, then I don't really see any problem. Who would pay for this consideration? We're looking at it. On behalf of who, Judge? Would it be the base point? Answering that could, of course, be unethical. <clears throat> Let uh, Bobby and me take a little walk, discuss this with Melanie. Right ahead. $1,500 cash. I'll wait for you outside the courtroom. Do you guys really know what you're doing? Making waves never helped anyone get ahead. Oh, Jesus, man. Easy, will you, with the wire there? You got it strung down there on my future, Jack. Hello, sir. Now I want four guys in plain clothes outside that courtroom. I want this payoff observed and no goofing up. Mr. Gould is interested in this one personally, understand? Ben Callan isn't such a bad guy, really. You know, I grew up in there. No, I didn't know that. John Hunter is dumb to try and drive him. But it would really hurt me to see him get jammed up this way. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'll get back to you on the top there. Why? Won't be long. Maybe you didn't understand. Correct. Well, I gotta run back to my office. I'm here. Excuse me, sir. I'll wait this man right here. I beg your pardon. I'm serious. You let him out of here. Tell him he's been in the weather. Did you hear what the manager said to me? I agree with him. What are you? you waiting something like that. I'm a district attorney. I brought you here. If Benny Kellner did this, then he should go to jail. But I know he didn't do it. If you stay in this office until I prove Kellner is innocent, all right? You're off base, Greenberg. Mr. Thatcher is completely trustworthy. It's a you. You want me to stay, George? No, of course not. You can go. How are the courts of you, sir? Of 
Much of what's going on, man. Yeah. Things are so bad. Oh! They gotta get better. Huh? 21 Edwards, 1032 First Night, 765 St. Mark's Avenue. Perpetrator on.
Oh, good at it. You are it. You hired shotguns to kill us. You fixed us in court. We're going to get you a ranch, man, I swear. Tell them about it. Oh, man, cut out that bullshit. Now, listen, you guys have heard our operation enough already. And that don't do none of us no good. What do you say to, um, 500 a week? Knowing our feeling about him, the man still wants to put us on the plan. Well, yeah, well, I see you guys. That's your thing to do. We got ours. Mm hmm Live and let live. That's what I always say. Five hundred dollars a week. Uh, how much you guys doing now? Huh? You're doing like fifteen grand a week. So you guys got a job. All yours? Oh, I sure wish it was, man. But you see, we uh work for the Cuban. Who's the Cuban, huh? A man from Cuba. Man. Real big, you know? Five hundred too low. Bobby's right. That price would be a thousand dollars a week. Jeez, baby. Now that is stiff. Now we're gonna have to get a whole lot of service for that. All right. Where's your next pickup from the Cuban, man? Uh, Hey, hey, hey. Good job, baby. Good job, baby. Hey, it was, uh, tonight. I'd ride along with you, Frank. Smash my pin in case you get hit for speeding. Or whatever. And for work tonight, I'll be waiting for you at the corner of Buffalo and Park, 8 o'clock. Okay. You ride with us tonight. Hey, baby. In the meantime, however, there are some uh, Caucasian lads trying to figure out. Now, we understand that there's a pair of them coming this way to make a pickup. I can tip you on where to pick them up. We hit them, huh? Just pay on that song. See who they connect with. We think that kind of busy day plan for us. <laughs>
cold. I'm Lieutenant Stratton. I arrest you for taking a bribe. Good. It's Roman Price. I'm arresting you for offering a bribe to an officer. Hey, wait a minute. You can't arrest him. You're under arrest. Well, I ain't. Lieutenant Strabo Strip. Stratton! Whatever, and did I arrest you for conspiracy to bribe an officer now lean against that counter? You damn lunatic. I'm attached to the NAP Commission. You can't get down with that
Why aren't your prisoners in handcuffs? It's not 100% clear who is a prisoner. What? We have them taped in witness taking a bribe from an undercover agent. I beg your pardon, sir. Hanson is the undercover agent. We have you taped to attempt to bribe and conspiracy. Did you wire them, Cosner? No, sir. Captain Arbo does. He's in final affairs. I do not believe this. You didn't know your bureau had my boys all wired up? I said, well, remember, why a panel? They must have got lost. Where is that that you made? My car. Arbo, you get it and bring it to me. Ah, uh, sir, excuse me. I wouldn't do that if I were you. That tape is evidence of attempted bribe and conspiracy. Don't be an asshole, Greenberg. God. Damn it, this whole idiotic fuck up is under the direct orders of the NAC Commission. Good, we'll put it on the arrest record. Probably with an interpretation for a limit to your warrant. Four prisons. Ah, excuse me, I beg your pardon, sir. Appreciate our little apology for calling us fucking hippie cops. I was hung from the Empire State Building by my prick. Guns and narcotics are instruments of death in our society. These men, being promoted today to detective third grade, have waged their own war on crime in our city. They are men of great imagination, efficiency, integrity, and bravery. Every officer in this department should try to emulate their behavior. how you've operated. I can't prove that now, and I'm even certain you'll find idiots to admire you. Batman and Robin. The great individualist, the great system beater, the friends of the poor. What a crock of shit. <laughs> I want you boys to meet you in your pack. All about it. Welcome to me, boys. Thank <laughs> you. 